Happy 4th of July. <laughs> Hi guys, happy 4th of July and welcome to Raya's World. It's a really, really hot day here and we're gonna start off our 4th of July day with a little bit of bubble painting. We uh, would have done some more festive colors like red, white, and blue. Luckily, Ray is dressed for the activity. Uh, but what we have are more pastel colors. So as you can see, there's very few ingredients. What do we have out here, honey? Um, food coloring, straws, water, and cups, and um, soap. Exactly, just some dish soap. So as you'll see, we have four cups. And paper. We're gonna make four colors, and exactly, paper. and paper. Um, the cups right now, as you can see, are just filled with a little bit. Of, they're about halfway These filled are with my water. Colors. And those are some straws, which we're going to blow with. Okay, so Ray, to start off, squirt a little bit of dish soap in each cup. Maybe like four drops or so in each cup. Okay, next one. Okay, now why don't you put a little bit of food coloring in? I would do one color per cup, okay? okay. So what color are you going to do first? Your favorite. First green. Your favorite. My favorite. But then how do we mix it? You'll mix it with the straw and then you'll blow bubbles. Next, pink. This bubbles are going to be for you. Okay, thank you. I know we're almost out of the pink because it's your favorite. Looks red. Looks red. It's okay. Now let's do some orange. Hard. There you go. That's a lot. Yep. And last but not least, some purple. Okay. I guess purple is the winner. Mm hmm. All right, let's see if it's enough drops in each one. I think it is. So you have four straws there. So put one straw in each cup with the, yeah. I was going to say with the bent part sticking up. This is the bang part. Right, that's perfect. Good, orange and orange. Too bad we don't have the corresponding colors, huh? Last straw, and stick it in. Now just start mixing. Mix, mix, mix. Ooh, that came out dark. Now comes the super fun part. After we mixed up the colors in the water with the little soap, as you can see, it turned into pink, purple, green, and orange water. Now what are we going to do, Raya? What are you up to? I'm blowing bubbles. Okay, so get it deep in that water, all the way in, and blow. This is the fun part. It can also be messy, which is why we're outside. Blow, blow, blow. And um, I would say if you're a kid who kid would rather, you know, suck something in rather than blowing, you might have the grown-up do this part of the project for you. You definitely don't want to ingest all of that soapy water if you can help it. But Rayla, you're doing a great job here. Look at all those green bubbles! Huh. You can pop them with your hands. What we're going to do is pop them with the paper. So blow up a bunch of bubbles in each cup. Nice pink. You can move the cups closer to you if you need to. Oh, this needs more. Purple. 
All right. Let's get our paper and pop those bubbles on the paper. It's like you're drinking a, a slushy. Mm-hmm. Looks the color of a slushy, huh? Yeah. Okay. Take the straws out. You know, yeah, take them out. We might need to blow a few more bubbles, though, as we get the paper up there. Now rip off a nice piece of white paper. Those bubbles with the paper. Let's see if we got any good color on there. Do we get any good color? Hmm. I might just say pour it on. I wouldn't pour it on, but your paper. And, and then say goodbye. And pop it. So I think with this project, you actually need a little more than like five drops of food coloring because you want it to be really saturated. The first the bubble time, mixture. the first time that I did it, um, worked out so good. Oh look, that's a nice color we got on there. Okay. We might just have to keep on blowing to get those bubbles to pop. You can always take the straw out if you have to. How'd that turn out? Nice. The orange is light. The orange is a little lighter. I'm drinking it. No, you better not be. If you have a kid doing this part, then um, it would be really tricky for a kid, but it's not so tricky for me. No? Maybe it'd be tricky for a little kid who likes to put everything in their mouth, huh? Uh-huh. So, so what was our most saturated color? Probably the purple and the pink. Yeah. Let's fill up that whole page, though. Blow some more bubbles and take those straws out and pop them all over the page. Looks like we had one man down. We had a food coloring inside of our cup. That's okay. That's why we're outside, huh? Mm -hmm. Pop those bubbles. How was that bubble song that we used to sing in Jimbury? Bubble, bubble, catch a bubble, 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 catch a bubble. That's right. Wait, no. Bubble, bubble, catch a little bubble in your cup. Oh, right. Can you catch a little bubble in your cup? cup. You catch a little bubble in your cup. Can you catch a little bubble in your cup? Could you catch a little bubble in your cup? Let's just shake it off. I think we need a little bit more color on there, but it's looking beautiful. So that's our final product today. Looking really beautiful, a lot of pastels. We've got some green, purple, pink, and some orange, and you can even see the bubble remains right there. Um, had we had more festive colors, it might look more 4th of July. This is the aftermath, not too much of a mess, and you can just keep going um, to sort of saturate your paper as much as you'd like. Thanks for visiting Raya's World, and we will see you next time. Happy 4th of July.